Welcome to SQL Reporting Service. This is video number 56 and in this video we are going to discuss about conditional formatting of data bars. So as from the last video you guys have seen like we have used the spark line and we have used the data bar as well but I need some sort of differentiation like which category is making a good sale and which is making a bad sale. Okay, <coughs> so how can we do that? So if you look at uh, the current report and just look at the pink ones okay don't look at the blue ones because they are uh, working uh, one second don't look at these guys because these guys are categorized based on the products and the pink ones are actually the total of you know the whole of you know of these guys okay so <coughs> only you have to look at the pink guys so as you can see we have two pinks in here one is at 1 million and 30 I'm sorry 1 million 3924 and this guy is like at 55,368 okay so and if you scroll down below uh, you can find more like uh, some guys at 88,000 so we need uh, to have a differentiation in between these guys so there's one way I mean there are different ways you can do it but generally uh, when it comes to us like in our company so I go like this what I do is first of all I right click uh, I mean I, I choose the option where I'm going to make the motivation now there are two options in here as you can see you know uh, there are two things in here first is the box okay and the second inside of which I have the data bar so if I'm clicking the data bar and if I hit the escape actually I'm selecting a box so if I do anything uh, on the box if I write some formula or some conditional it will be applied as a background to the box but if I want to make some changes on to the uh, you know the data bar so I have to choose the data bar very careful the moment I choose the data bar I get a white dot which you can see I guess right so uh, let's do the formatting before doing that let's right click and let's say um, I want to show the data uh, labels and let's preview it quickly so the value you will be seeing on the right hand side it's the same value you have on the data bar right so as you can see the values you can see the figures right <coughs> so this is good 88,000 I'm sorry 82,000 blah 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 so let's go back and now let's select that thing again data bar right click on it choose series properties then go to fill because fill is the part who fills uh, you know the bar I mean the data bar now you have to write an expression in here which I have copy paste and notepad which says <coughs> I need just look at the formula like this what I'm doing is I'm doing a sum of product sales and I'm trying to get the value which I already have in here when I do the one second let me get rid of that so basically when I'm doing the preview okay when I'm doing the preview this value is nothing one second oops okay so where was I so this formula actually gives me the value which you are seeing down there okay that's the value now what I'm saying is if that value is greater than 1 million then make it red otherwise make it green so let me copy the formula now control C and now if you analyze the data when I'm saying 1 million so this guy will turn into red and the guy at the bottom will stay green and same goes with the 82,000 so let's go back to design and choose the bar <coughs> right click on it series properties go to fill choose an expression and take this guy out and hit control V and let's say OK <coughs> and let's see what's happened let's save that part control S or control shift all S and now we'll see what we have so likewise what I said was the guys who are above 1 million make them as red and the guys are below 1 million make them as a green now it depends on your choice like how do you want to display the data right over here 
I made the choice 1 million now if I go back and if I change uh, to, let's say some reasonable figure okay let's say I want to see the average guys as well so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a change in my formula and I'm gonna say 70,000 though the sales the some value uh, for those who's going above 70,000 make them as red make them as like a good guys those who are making a very good sale so you can see as usual this guy will be high this guy should be low and the guy below that should be high right so this is good this, from this you know you get a bit of an idea like how it works right now the thing is at the screen I have configured the row groups uh, by one second category name and product name and I'm displaying the products in future it may happen like my requirement changes I want to see the things by category so you know this helps okay so now uh, I am very much capable of uh, making change to data bar and there would be a homework for you you need to change the background okay the background when you select the box you need to set up a formula in such a way that it should work and there's one more thing uh, you need to remember which is as you as you have seen like I am passing a value okay over here so you can make this thing again as a parameterized as we have done a lot in the past with the SSRS so you can follow those tutorial and make this thing as a dynamic so like based on the values you pass you based on that you'll come to know like who's doing good I mean who's performing well right so I hope uh, this helps and let me know your thoughts on this and if this video helps you in some way then please subscribe to my channel and share this video with your friends and recently I have created some animated shit so I just uh, want you to do me a favor and have a look it is something stupid but just let me know how is it all right so thank you for watching this good night and take care